a beam type CRF aluminum frame serves as the bones of the beast with a new extruded subframe extender that replaces the previous gen with a 20% drop in weight. The steering head comes set at 27.22 degrees of rake, and the front suspension length and 21-inch wheel diameter give the CRF 454.6 inches of trail. The titanium fuel tank shaves 1.1 pounds off the previous jet and contributes to the lowered center of gravity even though this model picks up 5 pounds for an overall greater weight than before. Oh well, at least you don't have to kick the damn thing. A set of 49mm, Ust show stems float the front end with adjustable rebound and compression damping values and 12 inches of travel at the axle. The Showa Monoshock Outback tames the aluminum swing arm with the above tweaks plus adjustable spring preload for near complete ride control all around. Honda chose the wave pattern brake discs for their superior heat dissipation and self-cleaning capabilities with a single, 260mm disc and twin pot caliper up front and 240mm disc and single pot anchor out back. Aluminum rims do their part to keep unsprung weight down, and the CRF 450R runs a 19-inch hoop in back to go with a 21-incher up front with Dunlop Mx's hoops all around. Overall, the bike feels quick and responsive, with supple suspension and race readiness right out of the box.